Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evo Space. Uh, as you can see, I have been busy around here. Uh, decided to do a little bit of, of, of an efficiency check on that miner up there. Uh, I won't say efficiency check because it doesn't actually tell you the efficiency, but uh, from what I could tell, it seems to be doing about one ore every five seconds. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe it's just the way I was counting, but it seems about five seconds. So, and the way it's going is basically the hammer's taking 20 seconds to go through. Uh, to hammer the ore down into the dust or the gravel. The macerators take 20 seconds to, to grind the gravel down into dust and then it just gets smelted and all that stuff. So I decided to double up the, the operation and I've been keeping an eye on this and it seems it is still going up so I probably could add another two, two runs on this but I don't really want to do that because that might be too much. I don't I didn't actually time it. I know I could time it myself, just by going up there and taking a piece out and recording them. I can go frame by frame and find out exactly how long it takes. But let's just say five seconds. But either way, I've got double the production going, and I've got them going into one chest here. And I was sort of trying to get like a unification going, but I'm thinking what I might actually do on this end is I might actually separate uh, this line here from th this line and have four separate shelves. Uh, one shelf is going to be ingots. Um, by the way, there has been quite a few updates since the last video. The developer has been working really hard. Uh, one of the things he's done is actually re reorganized everything back into the way it was. So we still have like decoration and logistics and all that stuff, but it's also got everything organized to tiers like copper, stone, and steel. Uh, if we go, go to all, then you can see he's got the same thing in here stainless, titanium, hard metal, neutronium. And all that stuff. Uh, another thing he did, and it was a bit of a special request, is he, um, they're in here somewhere. Well, it's actually over here. And as he put the scaffolding back into the game. And it's definitely a block I like to use. I never did use do too much building the last se season because, you know, I was still learning about what I was doing and didn't realize how much space I was going to need for half the stuff that I was doing. So these are back in the game. And I really do love the color now. Love it. Uh, but what I want to do is, well, there's a few things I actually want to do. There's a lot of stuff I want to do, actually. Uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to get basically a fully automated block production facility. So I'll be able to have the dark stone, the dark stone tiles, the redstone tiles, the redstone bricks, and uh, even get some concrete going. But we can't get concrete going until we get um, the mixer going. Uh, the mixer, however, we can't actually make yet because I haven't researched it yet. But there has been updates to the research. Make sure that autosave is done. Uh, I believe he's added a few things, changed a few names, but uh, one of the things you can do now is if you're looking for a specific thing, let's say let's go into here and, oh, I don't know, let's pick up a stainless steel terminal. Uh, I said, say, hover over it, and I'll say right there, research, research is incomplete. You click on, click on it, and it'll actually bring up the research and where you gotta go, and it tells me that we can't actually Make it. Go to research. Did we unlock stainless steel already? Oh, yeah, it should be green if it's lit. Yeah, yeah, I'm not paying attention. But yeah, so that's what this area here is for. I want to get uh, a couple miners set, that set up so we can get some automated block production going. Uh, but we're going to do that after we get into steel. Now, I've been looking at the coke dust, not the coal coke situation, and we're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, I think actually these shelves are almost full, so we gotta start using because we're not burning enough fuel yet. Uh, so I'm looking at the map, and there is actually an iron deposit just over there by that tree, I do believe, right over there. So we're gonna bring that over, and then we're gonna set it up over here. Um, what I'll do first, though, uh, oh, that's actually what I did. I did get already some automated block production. Uh, pretty simple to actually make the 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 blocks now stone goes into a cutting machine and it gives you the stone tiles as you'll see once it's done here gives you stone tiles stone tiles go into here and get you stone bricks so that's fairly simple and the same goes the the redstone and the dark stone so it's fairly easy to automate there's no way to mine or automate the the clay yet but i do have some made and i think you know, I got a little bit there, but I can only go mine some more, but uh, that's when it comes time for the bricks. But anyways, uh, what I want to do is we got to get a few things set up because I want to make, get away from those machines. Yeah. Uh, yeah, want to get automate the plates, 
parts and the copper wire and then I'm gonna leave ingots too just for whatever case so I'm gonna take the, this line out and take the shelf out and then I'll bring you back okay now that's pretty quick I'm uh, making the shelves now uh, so what we're gonna need is first we want to make plates and I believe plates were not that wrong button wrong button BC they call me uh, plates just go into a hammer okay and then uh, and the plates go into cutting machine. Okay, so we'll need a hammer, two, two cutting machines, and then how do we make these? These have to go through an assembler. Okay, actually, I think I have an assembler somewhere. I did have one. I'm going to abuse that double jump, and it sucks when you hit the water because you don't fill up until you get back onto the land here. I had an assembler somewhere wrong chest it's in here somewhere I had an assembly let me find it there it is it's in my inventory I suppose nobody told me anyway so yeah we got the assembler so that's gonna be all we need and we just come straight off of ingots on, on that I do believe uh, we'll need them for circuits and a lot of stuff so we must get this automated uh, yeah, just straight off the ingots. Alright, we actually get double out of the uh, assembler. Okay, so that's going to come out, come hot out of the furnace. So I'm not going to bother stacking everything into shelves. So the first one's going into a hammer. Uh, keep it all the motors, uh, sterling engines on one side. I need, oh yeah, I got arms. Alright, so that's going to be making plates. That goes right into a shelf. Like so. And this one here is going to be, again, making plates. So, I mean, they got to get another hammer going. Hammer. And while I'm waiting for that, I can go ahead and place cutting machines I did not even make. And I got to get more copper. Oh, it's right here. Isn't that convenient? Okay, and it's getting dark again. So, I'm just going to do that. And. Where is it? There it is. Hammer, yes, and then go ahead and make two cutting machines. Uh, the assembler's got to go down too. Oh, I got to move the shelf. Mm. Okay, I got to move some stuff over. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, I should have a lot of copper out of it. Put some extra in there. So, uh, now that that's in place, we can put the other shelves down. Uh, move the shelves so they're all sort of in line with each other. I'm missing one here, yeah, over here. Okay, so this one is set up, so we've got the, the hammer going into a cutting machine that can go into there. Now it's gonna be hammer going right into, right into to the shelf with another conveyor followed by another arm. And then this side here is gonna be the assembler. So, assembler actually needs electricity too. Uh, it's about all it needs, so can't put it there. Actually, I can. I'm going to put it right here. That'll be fine. Okay, because we're going to be going in and out with the, the arms. And the conveyor will go right to here on uh, the, the nugget line, or the ingot line. Uh, ooh, how are we going to do this? Hmm. I know. We'll have to think outside the box on this one. Two like that. Uh, one arm there, and another arm on the side here, so we get more ingots. So it's getting dark already. Wow. Okay, we are almost done here. I do have to make some sterling engines. Uh, what are we looking for here? Oh yeah, logistics. Another arm, please. I saw the conveyor stop. I thought it ran out of power from there. Then I remember they don't have power. Okay, and just like so. Actually, no, not like that. Place that the wrong way. Uh, arm, turn like that, and have you going to the left? So that should all work. We do need to get. Uh, I got two engines. Gonna need a few more of those. Probably five sounds good. I've got some more copper, and I should be digging out of the chest because that chest is full. Need one of those. 
and some more heat pipes. And that is about it. You know, I was complaining. I think I was complaining too in the last episode about how it was gonna be a pain in the ass to get all the the heat pipes down to connect everything. And I remembered I could just take the floor out. Pretty simple. Okay. Speaking of which, we gotta take this one out, and then there should be one over here I can connect to. So, there, and then we can take uh, this out. Do the same thing too, I'm gonna have to make more of these. Might actually automate these just because. Oh, I need a sterling engine to come off of that. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Let me think of something here. Okay, I gotta figure it out. Take the conveyor out. Take the assembler out. Try not to lose that. Not that it really matters. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to fill this hole back up, I think. We'll figure it out when the time comes. Alright, assembler. I'm gonna have this way. I was gonna have it there, wasn't I? Yeah. Like so. No, I'm still dealing with the conveyor issue. Ah. Oh, I got one. This will be a good one here. All right. uh, take your arms. I didn't mean to place that, but I placed it anyways. And uh, it's coming out of there. Let me go like this. So then this one will be going to the left. This one will be going to the left as well. And then we just put the conveyor down the side like so. So now I'll pull out of the machine, put on the conveyor, go over here, place on the conveyor, and pick it here, so on and so forth. Okay, so now I gotta get all this hooked up. So, uh, we are all set up there. Let me get everything connected and we'll check it out. Okay, that should be everything. Uh, everything's noisy, everything's running except for the assembler, which has to be just programmed to make coils. Oh, yeah. Like, why don't you not put it in? And I realized it was still going the other way. Okay, now it's getting noisy in here. We need to get mufflers in the game. So there we go. So now we're getting... Got plates coming, we got parts, uh, wire, and ingots. So that's good. So now, let's go ahead and start capturing up some of this uh, iron node. Yes. Uh, having one of those moments. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. So I did uh, a little bit of digging around through the the recipes to make the steel. And if it is one or every five seconds, which I think it might be, then uh, I believe one mine rig should be able to keep one blast furnace running at not full capacity. Uh, just trying to figure out what I have what I've got set up here and I think I only had one rack fuel in the system I think it was this one here not 100% sure I'm gonna have to go underneath to have a look uh, or we could just take the blocks out probably not because I don't have too many blocks uh, let's go check it out shall we I can't remember what I did down here at least I have a ledge to stand on Ooh, let's get back up there okay so they were all fueling the uh, the main pipeline. Hmm. We should be good. I think I might be able to just borrow from here. Oh, I haven't touched, I haven't used it yet. Yes, I can get out of the water. Alright, so. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Okay, I'm back. So I decided I'm uh, going to go ahead and set up two lines uh, as far as the coke production goes. I'm going to actually set up two more coke production setups that will sort of work in the line with everything else. Just because uh, I want to make sure that fuels that, that coal power plant holds up because we're going to run everything off those heat pipes, I think. Anyways, uh, where is this node? It is over here. And that'll be the guy right here, right? Yes. Okay, so I've decided to make 
two two miners, two blast furnaces, four coke ovens, and somewhere near or two farms running off of one atmosphere condenser. And there should be everything we need to keep everything going. Alright, so let's put the mines miners down and see where we're gonna output to, I guess. I guess we'll go that way. Alright, turn around. Like so, and like so, and you should have iron, thank you, and iron, thank you. Alright, um, originally I was thinking about bringing a heat pipe all the way over here for these, but I don't think that's a smart idea. I thought I made a chest in here somewhere, which I didn't. Um, so yeah, I'll have to get a chest and get this set up, but anyways, let's, uh, Get our engines down. Oh, I don't want to place it down there. That's actually too far down for it to actually dig itself out for me. Now, can I have this back, please? Please? Thank you. Oh, it's water. It's like, wait a minute. Blue dirt. Uh, oh, yeah. Got a jetpack. That's right. Uh, you're still going to be getting iron, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we just uh, put this engine here. Uh, I'm gonna have to hop back in there, I think. Uh, this is actually why I made it. Well, not why I made it, because I had these made already. Uh, hmm. Sorry, I'm thinking. Uh, sure, we'll do that. I have to clear everything out. And then, just throw a pipe on there. See, why waste your multi-tool mining stuff out if you just placed blocks and let, it, let them mine it out for you? Okay, now I do have to get some coal coke, but we'll deal with that in a minute. And now we get to run some conveyors, which we're going to have to upgrade eventually. Probably fairly soon. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of conveyors. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this off camera and run these conveyors over there, probably go up before the hill. And I'm going to have them running parallel, like the same height as the copper lines next to them. And then drop down and be at the other side of the platform there. Okay, so I've got the, the conveyor lines already set up. As you can see, there is ore on the belt, which means I've got those fueled and they are pumping out iron. Now, I'm th thinking about where I want to set it up. I think I might actually set it up over on this side here. But I'm going to sort of have it set up in two stages. We're going to have the, the ore doubling stage. And then we're going to have the coke produc production stage afterwards. Uh, I'm just producing, uh, making the ore doubling stage here. But I do have, have everything else except for the arms, which I realize. So let's start by placing the two farms down. I'm going to do this a little bit differently. Uh, as far as like how they're going to be organized. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the farm, one coke oven next to it, the coke oven over here, and then finish off with the blast furnace and have it all in a 4x4, four four, but I want to have it so that the blast furnace sort of lines up with the end of the production line. So I'm trying to think of how I want to do that. Really all about placement. Let me think. Okay, so I was trying to think of a way I could have this set up so it would be a little more organized, but I think I'm gonna go with my original idea. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna look, look, but we'll find out. Actually, no, I, I know what we're gonna do. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the doubling line. Now I wanna try to keep everything sorta of in line here. Just for, you know, um, We'll call it OCD purposes, I don't have OCD, but uh, perfectionism, yes, uh, that's the word I'll use. I don't have any wood. I'll have some wood in a second. Thank God, and yes, this is actually one of the things I'm going to be uh, mass producing eventually. That's actually going to be part of our uh, build building emporium. I think that's the name I'm going to go for. I haven't decided yet. All right, so I need to make another shelf here. Actually, I need to make a few shelves. Let's go ahead and make five more. And that is built. So let's go ahead and get that on that block there. I'm going to stand here because I want to try to utilize this space as best as I can. And I think right about here should be good. 
Do one there, and... Try to think here, because we don't need a, a as big of a line as that one. Now this should be good right here, like that. And we'll place the machine sound. Alright, so it's going to be two hammers. Uh, do have to have the blast furnace at the end, so I'm going to start at one end here. I still need to make the arms. That is fine, I do have the hammer, so take the hammer. Uh, again, I'm going to have a buffer chest, uh, buffer shelf here, just for the sake of it. So it's going to be hammer, and, and macerator. And then from the macerator, then it just goes... Probably should try to get some steel going. I put a wash plant in here right away. We run this through... Oh, that's the wrong one. This one goes to an ore washer. Chrome oxide dust. Now uh, we will need that, but not in the meantime. Is there other, other ways to get it? Industrial separator. We do, will need that for stainless when the time comes. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, the stainless steel recipe has changed. I must investigate. Uh, stainless steel dust. Chrome dust now. Where do we get chrome dust from? Oh, it goes into a chemical reactor now. Interesting. Alright, so we are going to need that. Hmm. Oh, we need steel before we can do this. Oh my god, decisions. Alright, well, well, we'll work that in afterwards. Uh, it's going to be just a little bit more... bit of a pain to deal with, but it works. Do that. And that. And... And then we throw the blast burns at the end. So... That is not what I wanted to do, actually. <laughs> what I was thinking about doing was actually having the iron going right into the blast furnace. So place that right there, right? Yes. And then what I was thinking about doing was having the coke ovens on top. In the form at the very, very top, but I don't know about that now. Uh, might look too phallic -y. Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> For science. Oh yeah, that's a problem too. The farm is four high. Hmm. Wonder how the farm will look down here. Put the farm there. This is actually a higher block too. Well, this isn't working out like I had planned. But maybe... I can work something out. Let me figure something out here. Okay, so I've decided to do it this way instead. I'm going to have uh, the coke production on the inside with the blast furnace on the outside. And then the ore doubling line up coming down this end. Uh, I've got this shelf here just for alignment purposes. Alright, so let's go ahead and place that shelf back down. Let's get it right in the center here. Yes, and then we'll do the same thing over here. If I place it in the right spot, that is. Okay, we do that, and... Yes. Alright, so from here, it's going to be uh, the right block, that is. Now, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hide the Sterling engines on the inside here. Alright, then into a macerator, and then from here we're just going to have a line of conveyors going right to the coke oven. Or the blast furnace. And the arms are still being made, so let's go over here and do the same thing on the other side. Uh, start with a hammer. And then throw a macerator down. And then... conveyors. And then... And then, I won't do that, don't worry. Even though I already did. Okay, uh, so the conveyors are here, I'm just waiting for, okay, make sure they're lined up here. And the other side here, we're gonna come out of here and then we're gonna go into, we're gonna split it up into what we got going on over there. So again, the pipes are, or the, I should say, 
Uh, actually, I think I need to research that stuff still. Do I? Stainless steel production. Do I not have parts, plates? Oh yeah, there is no wire. That's right. Let's see what else we can make out of ingots here. Uh, just plates and plates become pipes and parts. And I think that's about it. And it's all handcrafted. You can't even, can't even auto craft those. Hmm. Oh, because we're going to be needing concrete anyways. We'll need the plates for the reinforced concrete. Then maybe it's going to be one ingot, four plate, two plate, one ingot, two parts, and one plate. Okay, well, anyways, uh, let me get this all set up. You don't need to let's see me do the engines or the heat pipes, and I'll bring you back. Okay, they are all set up. The Dublin is be has begun. Uh, the coke is being produced. Well, actually, it's not being produced because I gotta get this up. Now, someone was mentioning that the atmosphere con uh, condenser actually acts like a pump and will automatically output. So, we will put this to the test. Uh, I'm just gonna have this hooked up to a pipe, feeding into both of them. Uh, I do need to make some more pipes, which probably be under logistics. Yes, need more copper. It's amazing how much resources you can go through. You don't even think about it until you start going through it and it's like, oh my god, did I really go through all that? It's like all the conveyors I've made. I made like 20 stacks of them and as you can see, they didn't last very long. Alright, pipe. i do that. One short, of course. And... No, not one short. I didn't make one. There it is. Okay, now we get a sterling generator, and it turns out the, uh, the heat pipe is actually right here, so I don't have to go digging around for it. And... Yeah, we'll just come over this way here. I don't care about losing the blocks. I can get so many more. Yeah, we we'll do that on there, and... Like so, and I think that's it. All we gotta do now is put a sterling engine on. Uh, okay, I'm gonna set you to water, please. Uh, logs, logs, and uh, that should be it. I think all we have to do now is just wait. Okay, holes are all filled in. Uh, what would be nice is if uh, the dev could come up with some sort of like facade or some way to fill these holes in, or like a, a through block. Now, what are you not doing? Oh yeah, uh, you're not doing anything until we get coke in here. Oh, I gotta set these two. That's the wrong recipe, because we're not washing it yet. We are gonna be using this recipe. And uh, that doesn't need a recipe, and this one needs a recipe. So now, it's just a matter of waiting. This is producing wood slowly. Oh. I'm like, why is it not producing wood? And then I realize it's not, it doesn't have enough water yet. Alright, well that is going, so I'm going to let this go and I'll bring it back when we finally get some steel. And there we go, our first batch of steel is being cooked right now. And our second batch is going to go pretty quick. Uh, it took a little while to get started because, you know, we got to grow the wood and we got to turn it into coal, coal and then turn it into coke and then get it over to here. But now it's actually going, we should be getting one every ten seconds. I know it doesn't mean a lot, but when you're busy doing other things, it sure adds up. And besides, you can always just up this easy. You know, I'm sure there's a couple more iron nodes we can capture if we need them. But we'll worry about that later. Uh, we don't actually have the extra doubling anymore because of the ore washer, but... But even then, like, we're getting four times now. That's doubling and that's doubling again, unlike the copper line, but... You know, I'm sure there's reasons for that. But... Yeah, we are almost done. I know we definitely gotta upgrade these arms. These arms are so slow. Uh, speaking of upgrades, uh, let's check our research. I did do a few little things like the fluid pump and filtering arms and stuff like that. Just basic stuff. Uh, everything else we're gonna need these advanced computations for. 
Uh, so we might end up making a whole bunch of those. Uh, but I might wait till the next episode because it's going to be part of the next build. We're going to start making these, which we're going to need circuit boards for, which come from planks. Planks are basically a log through a saw, and the circuit boards are there. Planks through a saw. So we'll be getting that automated along with uh, a lot of other building materials, and we'll go from there. And there we go, our first steel ingot. I'll take that. Thank you. Alright. And now... Can't do make anything out of steel because I, I gotta research everything. Like, automation too, and heat covers and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is I... Because I've got the two computers running the basic computations right now. I think I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these. Which do need copper wire and circuit boards. What do I have wood on me? Uh, I should have enough. Go to misc. Grab some copper wire. All the way over here. Oh, wrong shelf. And don't shift click because it'll. Okay, no, there's 256 of a stack of those. Then. Oh, yeah. Doesn't update right away. So it makes 16, which means if we research that, that'll get us 48 research points. And I'm out of logs too. So we'll run over here to the farm. Actually, we can we'll steal it from here. We'll let that steel start producing. Since there's plenty of wood here. I'll we'll definitely have to start upgrading this when the time comes. I wanna I wanna see if I could basically power everything off of that. Alright, like as you can see I've already laid out an area for some more furnaces. I think I'm gonna get eight more in here. Uh, in this particular setup and then try to work out some sort of gridding around uh, the heat core. We'll have to definitely make it a lot bigger. And I definitely will have to double this up even if I do upgrade all the equipment to steel. Uh, just because we're really using a lot of it. But, now that is done. Uh, go ahead and make it some more circuits. Let's see how we're doing for the steel here. We have nine. Alright. That's right. I keep forgetting, can't research it, can't do anything. So you gotta research it. I can make a shelf. That's about all I can make is a shelf. But let's go get some research going and uh, we'll probably end it there while there's stuff research is in the background. And then uh, next episode we'll uh, move on to bigger and better things. Uh, there's a bug there. My mouse got caught in the window somehow. Oh, somehow it ended up off screen. Okay, that's weird. And I got locked off screen too. Anyway, uh, we switch this over to these. We'll dump those in there and start researching. Now the question is, which which way do we go? Obviously, machines and automation would be the best way to go. Look at that, in 64 points. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is I might actually do some research search off camera between now and the next episode. I'm going to take care of automation too so we can get the uh, steel arms and conveyors. Um, probably basic machines as well because there's a lot of stuff that gets locked behind here. And... And we'll go for there. We'll probably end up just doing research all next episode while we build our uh, building supply distribution center. Still haven't thought of a name, but we'll figure it out. You know what? I ended that too early. There was something, something I was supposed to do with all this steel. Now that's coming through. I should have enough to do it. Uh, we got to make steel plates. And we got to make steel parts. So we're going to take... Of machines, you're gonna take a hammer and then a cutting machine. Uh, what side should we go off of? Let's go off of this side here. Why not? Oh, and that's an auto save. And they get bigger and bigger the more I build. Now, how do I want to do this? I think I might actually come off of here just like this. Actually, no, I like having things in the long lines like this. What's the, point of a, what's the point of a production line if it's not in a line, right? And then we do like that, and then we go like that. 
and I did this wrong, did I? I think I did. Yeah, because I want to make, uh, I want to make plates too. Don't want to make just parts. So we will take, hmm. Do it this way. Put that out. We'll put, oh, put the arm down. We'll place it. Place the ingots on a conveyor. Take two more arms coming out this way. Like so. And then we'll have them um, both going into a hammer. Which means I have to make another hammer, which won't take very long. Uh, one's going to go into a cutting, uh, cutting machine. One's going to go into... Uh, one's going to go into a cutting machine. One's going to go into a shelf. We'll have the shelf on this side. Just so, you know, stuff isn't, like, tucked in behind. And that is the wrong way. I forgot to check to see if, see if the screwdriver is actually working yet. Alright, so, let me just do that, and then that, and then, uh... And of course I need two more arms. Uh... Yeah, two more. And we need some shelves, too. Oh, that is the right spot. Good. I thought I misclicked. Okay, and one, two, and give me a conveyor, please. Conveyor, please. Conveyor, please. But yeah, so I gotta do that. So that's the plates. That's gonna be the parts. That's gonna be ingots for now. I uh, will figure that out afterwards. At least we're gonna get some sort of production going because I don't think there's much else I can really make the steel make out of steel. Let's double check this again, and it seems like, yeah, that's it. Goes into plates, and plates can be made into parts or into pipes by hand, which is kind of awkward, but... Uh, yeah, let me get this uh, all plumbed up, and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. So, we're making plates here, making parts, parts over there, we're making ingots over there. And we're automated. And so far... Let's actually see how we're doing on the old heat network here. Let's see how much we're using. Still won't tell me overall production because we haven't actually maxed out yet, but it is working. And as you see, the, the more I expand, the more of that goes up, but we're going to be reaching the thousands in no time. But anyways, now would be a good time to call it, and I apologize, I apologize if I forget to cut out the end of that clip i'll try to do my best to remember but yeah so we'll call it here uh next episode we're gonna go over there start building some stuff a place to set up building materials but anyways thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave me a like and as always i'll see you in the next one later